Hey guys, this is CAF Cthulhu, and today I am giving you some of Professor Chaos's gameplay over a game of domination on Wraith using the Mac 11 with the Silencer Tiger Camo. And that is all I'm going to say. The gameplay, let it speak for itself. Thank you, Professor Chaos, and you can be looking forward to some more gameplay from him. Now, today I would like to talk about expectations in Modern Warfare 3, or the next Call of Duty, I'm not sure. I've heard it's going to be Modern Warfare 3, but I'm not really sure. So, um, first, dedicated servers. Now, I think I'm with a very large portion of the community when I say that this connection that Black Ops has given us is pretty much the worst ever. Well, not ever. But it's pretty horrible. Um, you know, I, I don't really see a reason why such a huge company cannot, with the biggest gaming franchise in the world, can make um, dedicated servers. Halo 3 did when it was the biggest game in the world. Didn't have a problem. So that's the first thing. Um, second thing is gun balancing. Um, Modern Warfare 2 was pretty much... One of the worst games for gun balancing I've ever played in my life. The assault rifles were two hit kills for, from basically all ranges, while every single submachine gun was terrible. And I do not emphasize when I say that. I do not count the UMP-45 as a submachine gun, though. It basically is an assault rifle. Um, or a sniper rifle. You know, one of those twos. Um, bring back quick scoping. It's number three. Because, you know what? Huge portion of the community is really upset with Treyarch for taking away quick scoping. You know what? Who cares if it's cheap or not? You kept in noob tubes, so I'm pretty sure you passed fairness. Um, don't, you know... To achieve fairness, don't bring the highest link down, just make the worst link better, you know? You don't have to hinder everybody because you think something's unfair. Why don't you just make everything else better so that people don't go to quickscoping? Um, okay, so that's another thing. Another is bring out more, like, um, what's the word? Interactive maps. You did this in, what's it called, first strike map pack. It's like each map had one specific thing that you could do to interact with it. But that's not enough. You need to do them with every map and more than just one thing specific to that map, you know? So that's another one. Another one is downloadable DLC. Make them include guns, camos, um, I don't know, equipment. So, something more than map keep the game interesting i'm pretty sure battlefield did this take after battlefield that's a great game um you know if you had like an assault rifle map a gun pack or like a submachine gun gun pack that would be great you know keep interest in the game keep things new shake things up it's always a good idea um what else you know well, can't really think. But today I was playing Modern Warfare 2 with some buds, and you know, it is really fun. It's a fun game. Um, easy to get nukes, easy to have, easy to have fun. I find nukes extremely fun, by the way. And um, I was wondering if you guys wanted to see any Modern Warfare 2. I'm gonna be getting some Dead Space 2 gameplay soon because you guys want to see that. I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot of uh, content. In a while, I just have been pretty sick lately, which is why my voice sounds disgusting and nasally. Um, I just thought I'd put this up out there so that everybody knew what was going on. What I thought about Modern Warfare 3. Um, I also have an opinion on Modern Warfare 3 that, you know, if you look at the Call of Duty market, the last, I don't know, well, for this last, like, two years they've just been saturating the market with black ops and modern warfare 2 with a blockbuster like modern warfare 2 you cannot follow up that game in one year um same 
goes double with Black Ops. These games are groundbreaking. These games are record-breaking. You cannot just oversaturate the industry to the extent in which Treyarch and Infinity Ward have done the crime of doing. Um, you know, you're gonna lose a bunch of your fan base. By the way, Colin, that was a great quad. Um, you're gonna lose a bunch of your fan base, for one, and people are just not gonna be interested in the game. You know, despite what developers you may think, people want to come back to the game. They, you, we want you to give us reasons to come back and play this game some more. Um, when you, it's not all about money. You want to make us happy. Now, Treyarch, you've done a great job in listening to us, so continue to do so. Same with you, Infinity Ward. You've been terrible with listening to us. Um, the community needs to be heard in issues concerning Infinity Ward, your games. And you've just not listened at all. I know you're not going to listen to this, but who cares? I didn't want to speak my mind. Um, so anyway, back to oversaturation. Now we're going to be bored with this first-person shooter Call of Duty stuff. You know, I am pretty bored with it. I've been going to Gears of War 2. The only reason I haven't been playing that a lot is because I suck. Um, you have to give at least a two-year gap, like Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Why do you think Modern Warfare was 2 was such an amazingly crazy, booming success? It was a groundbreaking game. And you know why it was groundbreaking? Because it gave time to let technology increase, to let everything increase. So that you don't hit this plateau of games being the same. And what happens is demand gets higher as time goes on. So what happens when demand gets higher? Um, needs that the community has that maybe have formerly gone unnoticed. They get met because they need to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no, we need to be heard as a community. We can't just let uh, developers push us around like we have in the past. And you know what, Treyarch? Thank you for listening to us. You've made this game a much more enjoyable experience by the patches you've come out with. You've been rationable. And we all as a whole appreciate it. Infinity Ward, on the other hand, this next game better be freaking amazing. Because in the amount of time you're giving us in between games, it's ridiculous. Uh, we're not... I don't think the community is ready for a Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops is still brand new, and because it hasn't been such a booming success, it's more new than Modern Warfare 2 was this time. Um, if it was more of a booming success, then we would have played it more. And we would have gotten a bit more sick of it. But nope, we have not played it that much, because quite frankly, lots of the time we hate it. <laughs> we hate the things you've done with it. And you fixed them, so that's good. But, yes. Modern Warfare 3 better be amazing. The graphics better be great. And there better be some new options in the game because, quite frankly, I'm not ready to go back to another Modern Warfare 2. I have Modern Warfare 2 for that, so give the game some replay value. So, I'm going to thank you guys for watching this. This has been CA Cthulhu. Speaking my mind on issues I think need to be addressed. So, thank you for watching. Please leave this a like rating if you found this useful. If you agreed with me. Or if you just liked the gameplay, you know. Colin, you did a great job. Thanks for watching. This is CA Cthulhu.